AppOps Release Manager by Prodly allows you to quickly deploy complex relational data to your Salesforce production org with the click of a button. Are you a Salesforce admin who spends hours moving complex relational data between environments, especially if you're working with Salesforce CPQ or field service? If so, Prodly is the tool you've been waiting for. Say goodbye to hours of manual work using Excel spreadsheets, VLOOKUPs and data loader to move related records between your Salesforce orgs. This in-depth review will dive into AppOps Release Manager's features, ideal use cases, plus the setup effort and potential impact that adding this app to your Salesforce stack could bring. Prodly looks and feels just like Salesforce Lightning. AppOps Release Manager has a number of tabs, but the most used ones will likely be connections, data sets, deployment plans, and deployment results. Let's take a look at what each one of them does. The connections tab is really important. This is where you'll manage the connections between your source org, where you're getting the data from, and your target org, where you're sending the data to. A question you may have at this stage is where does Prodly live? Prodly can be installed in any production environment and used to move data between any number of orgs. This means that a Salesforce implementation consultant can purchase Prodly and connect it to many customer environments simply by adding the connections. This is invaluable. It means no one has to waste time doing manual deployments. It's useful for consultants in cases where a customer didn't purchase a deployment tool pre-implementation. And of course, because consultants don't waste time, they don't eat into your project budget. Data sets are the lifeblood of Prodly. Without data sets, you wouldn't be moving anything anywhere. Prodly comes with a number of data sets already set up to move Salesforce CPQ records, but you can create data sets for any object in your org. In the dataset editor, you can view a number of things such as the element details, object fields, parent relationships, and child relationships. You can also use the diagram feature to visualize the relationships objects have to one another. For example, in the price rule van dataset, we can see the relationship between the price condition, price action, summary variables, and any lookup query associated with the price rule record. When creating custom datasets, you can also use the simulate functionality to reproduce what would happen if the dataset is deployed to your target environment. This means you can check the dataset is complete and that it will deploy seamlessly. Now I'm going to talk about deployment plans and bear with me on this one. Deployment plans are a collection of datasets that are deployed in the sequence applicable to what is being deployed. So for example, when deploying CPQ records, you can't deploy product rules before you deploy products, for example, into a scratch org, because product rules are associated directly to product records, and therefore the deployment would fail when trying to relate the product rule to a non-existent product. Did that make your head spin as much as it did mine? Well, imagine having to manage this in Excel and keep it all straight. Deployment plans for Salesforce CPQ come pre-configured with the Prodly Managed Package. Such a handy feature and saves so much initial setup time. Deployment results are key to understanding if your deployment was successful or why it failed. You can then dig deeper into the results of each element. Just because the overall result is success, there may be a few elements that could have had minor issues that need addressing. Luckily, Prodly allows you to do that. Prodly can really assist admins by creating any missing fields referenced in a related record that do not already exist in a destination org. The same goes for pick list values. We call out a couple of really key examples in the blog. Now for some of the ways you can use Prodly. So Salesforce CPQ is the main use case. Prodly was actually founded to improve the process of moving CPQ data between organizations. And as you can see, we've touched on a lot of these throughout the review. Prodly is also indispensable for working with Salesforce field service deployments. You can seed sandboxes and seed them fast. All admins who have worked with relationship-based data configurations in the past can tell you that not only is moving from your sandbox to production a pain, but then once you refresh your sandbox, you have to do the whole process in reverse. Prodly cuts a lot of time here. Prodly is also very valuable when working with junction object data and also third-party applications such as Financial Force or Conga CLM. I hope I've captured your attention so far. 
We talk about the longer term impact Prodly can bring and the setup involved in the full review on the Salesforce Ben blog. You'll find the link to that in the video description.